What's going on guys? It's JFT back with Combat Sports Central bringing you another video. Today I'm doing the first ever Combat Sports Central ranking report. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, the UFC rankings go on every month. They have significant changes. They change after basically every event, but after every month there is some significant changes. So I've held myself to that distance. So I'm going to cover it every month. So this is the rankings report for February 2020, and you'll get it pretty quickly on what I'm doing. But thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Remember to like and subscribe to Combat Sports Central for all your combat needs. But let's get straight into this video. Now we're starting at the UFC flyweight division and we actually see a little bit of movement here but we're going to see more in weeks time because they haven't processed the most recent event of Figueredo beating Joseph Benavides and we'll see if there's a change there but nonetheless throughout the month of February we saw Kai Kaiara of France moves up one spot and the vacant number 15 spot is filled with Tyson Nam which is a good sign for people that are doubting the flyweight's existence past this date. Then a small change at bantamweight Casey Kenny, who hadn't fought this month, it was kind of a random shuffle in the rankings, falls out, and in comes Rayoni Barcelos, who with little activity at the top of the division, again, there wasn't many big fights in this division. Again, at featherweight, a very, very small change at the 14-15 spot. We see the UK's own Arnold Allen swap spots with Sadiq Youssef. Sadiq moves up to number 14. Arnold Allen moves down. The almighty Allen moves down one spot to number 15. At lightweight, we see a more significant change near the top of the division, inside that top 10, and inside the top 5. Dan Hooker moves up to number 5. He gets his top 5 ranking placement for defeating Paul Felder in his home in Auckland for that main event. Uh, we see Donald Cerrone and Paul Felder down one spot, respectively, to number 6 and number 7. At welterweight, we see no changes. At middleweight, this weekend we'll see an amazing title fight between Israel Adesanya and Yoel Romero. But as for February, we saw no changes in the top 15. At light heavyweight, we see again an extremely small change. Uh, OSP moves into number 15 and the legend himself, Shogun Hua, falls out of the top 15. He does have a scheduled bout, a trilogy fight, but nonetheless, we're going to get to see he's going to fall out of the rankings in February. Then at heavyweight, again, like welterweight and middleweight, we see no changes. There are some interesting fights, I believe, this month coming up. So we'll probably have some changes in the, the March rankings report, but we will see. At Wannemann's bantamweight, we see absolutely not one change in the rankings. They stay the same from February 1st to February 29th. So nonetheless, let's move straight on to women's flyweight. At women's flyweight, we see some significant changes, actually. We start that top 10 to top 15 goes as said. Alexis Davis, Antonina Shevchenko, Montana De La Rosa, Mara Romero Borella, Yeon Kim, and Paulina Botello. But nonetheless, there is a shakeup in this division. Montana De La Rosa first moves up to number 11, and the second Shevchenko sister moves down to number 12. Gian Kim moves up one spot to number 13. Falling down two spots is Mara Romero Barella, who moves to number 15 and sits there in a tie with Molly McCann, who debuts on the UFC flyweight rankings. As for nine, as for 10 to the champion, no changes whatsoever. And then we move to the final division we cover in this video, women's strawweight. At women's strawweight, we actually see some more changes. Karolina Kovalkiewicz falls out of the rankings following her loss, and Yan Zianon moves up to number 11. She pops up in the rankings at number 11, but it was a dominant performance. I'm not going to argue that movement in the rankings. Let me know what you guys think in that comment section below. Some other quick changes. Angela Hill, who's turning into the Cowboy Cerrone of women's strawweight, moves into the rankings at number 15, and with small shakeups with the debut of Yawn, we see the fact that Tisha Torres stays the same, but Felice Herrig drops to number 13, and Alexa Grasso falls into that number 14 spot. So your rankings sit as this currently. Uh, that will wrap up this rankings report for February 2020. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys might want to see more from this series. I thank you so much for clicking on this video. And I ask that if you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe to Combat Sports Central, and turn notifications on. But that will do it for me today, folks. Peace out.